Evening everybody, welcome to the Meccano Maker System Empire State Building. Very new set, perhaps has been on the web for a couple of months, but uh, fairly recently on the high street in certain places, Toys R Us being about the best. As you can see it's fitted with lights, and they're a nice touch, uh, LEDs run off four batteries, perhaps we could do with a little bit more but um, a nice touch, although the wiring is a little messy. Overall though, I would say, from our point of view, this is the best Mechanomaker system set available at the present time. There's loads of parts. The price, on the face of it, does seem expensive, 80 to 90 pounds, depending where you get it from. But when you open the box, and you look through all the parts, it's a bargain. So folks, here we are then with the latest version of the Empire State Building the Mechanomaker System Empire State Building set. Can't show you the set because I was eager to make it and I haven't done a review on the set but I can tell you it's worth every penny. There are lots of parts, there are lots of parts that we haven't seen for some time in this amount in a set. Many a year really. Overall the 80 to 90 pound cheaper maybe on the web, a little bit anyway uh, it's worth every penny, absolutely, and it is my favourite set so far of the Mechanomaker system, certainly the traditional variety, not including the mechanoids of course, I look at those a little bit differently, um, they are great for parts in their, in their own right, but in their own way. This is about really as traditional as it gets as a static model, we do have the LED lights which is a modern touch, um, better for battery power, a lot longer lasting. There is a little uh, negative with the lights themselves. Uh, basically the wires are all hard wired, you can't take them off. If they were um, loose if you like or disconnectable from the box it would be easy to thread through the holes and hide the wires without recourse to these clips to make it passable. The other thing is, of course, is that fairly early on in the build you put the first light on, which means that the whole wiring system and the battery box is with the build all the way through. I forget how many stages into the build, but it's probably now more than about 15, 20 stages. I don't think it's that far, actually. So you're sort of carting that round with you. And this was built at work on uh, break time, and not that far in it was too big to go into the Milocca, so it had to be carted to and from work all the time which it did suffer in the fact that I lost some of the rubber grommets for the holding the lights on. I do have an idea though to get a tap and thread the pegs on the side of these, uh, what should we call them, lamp holders. Um, the lights themselves work quite nicely. It would be nice if there was a few more that was a little bit more powerful, but they are nice. There's a timer circuit. You press the top switch, there's a main switch underneath, there's a timer circuit and it lasts about three minutes just over. There's a recess in the button there, just right for a, an axle, so you could in theory make your own little automatic mechanism for resetting the, uh, the lights so they come on every so often. Of course, like most lights they don't show up too much when you've got decent light around. So why is it such a good set? Well, of course I can't show you the parts in the box because I've made it. Um, I will be getting another set because there's the, uh, well it says Arc de Triumph on the, uh, on the box but of course we all know it's Marble Arch and uh, that will be made as well, that a little bit different, not seeing one of those made yet um, so I'll hope to do a review of the set itself once I get another set. But the parts for this set, in the main, the flexible plates these uh, silvery grey ones, we've got uh, 11 by 3 hole, that's uh, 5 and a half inch by 1 and a half inch and uh, behind some of these uh, longer ones here we've got uh, 2 and a half inch by 1 and a half inch, that's 3 hole by 5 hole. 
you've got enough to do this here, all up there, the same other side and all the way around the base. Now, about the base, you'd think that would be a little bit weak for the weight that's on it. And they do flex a little, um, but they're not too bad. Although I have, as I've built the model, added some things to the model from my stock of parts just to make it a little bit more, shall I say, robust in transit. I have lost uh, a few grommets, but uh, and I think one or two nuts and bolts, which is the way it has to travel 30 miles or so each day, uh, it's, it's sort of understandable. Having said that, it was in a bag, so why isn't the grommet that was on the top lamp uh, in the bag? Who knows? It's gone forever. Don't know where that is. Go back to the uh, flexible plates then, on the other side of the, we've also got a couple more um, of the silvery grey ones, but of course here you can see we've got these creamy coloured ones, an unusual colour, I don't know why they did it that colour really, uh, I don't think the real Empire State Building is that colour, could be wrong, let me know if it is. But of course we've got these um, seven by five, which is uh, three and a half, seven by five hole, three and a half by two and a half inch flexible plates, and at the top five hole square, which is two and a half inch square. Same again the other side. Excellent, just from those plates. Uh, the paint or powder coating, whatever it is, as usual, is a little bit thick in places but nowhere is it thin and they've all got a very decent covering de good quality covering the same goes for the zinc this is uh, perhaps second only to an older Meccano multi-models set uh, I think it was a 30 or 35 model set it's a quad bike, there is a video about it that zinc was all of the most uh, mirror finish this is just slightly uh, less than mirror finish, it's a very good finish, it doesn't stay stained with your greasy fingerprints very good on that. Now those of you who have seen the Mechanozone Facebook page of late when I posted a few uh, preview pictures on there of the build, I did say I'd added approximately 156 or so extra parts to the build. There are a few others I've added as I said to make it a little bit more robust and um, steady you might say but I'll come on to those later. And the answer to that is the washers. I've added something like 150, 155, something like that, I think. Everywhere where there's a flexible plate, I've added a washer underneath the bolt heads. Whether it's a round hole or a slotted hole. In other parts, such as these flange plates, there's a smaller slotted hole on the top. I've also added a washer. But obviously where there's something where there's a... let me see... Let's say down here on these flexible plates, there's no need to put a washer because you've got the angle bracket underneath. That's just purely to help protect them, give them some, uh, increase their longevity you might say. So that's everywhere where there's a slotted hole in anything or any hole in a flexible plate. There are a couple of washers included in the set that you use in, in the build. I only use two, I think there's one spare. But uh, I would recommend, especially where there's the slotted holes, using washers underneath. Let's uh, put them lights on again, eh? Uh, you see the bottom ones. The, uh, <laughs> it's looking a little bit wonky that side, but uh, the build itself, you, you may see it rocking there on the base, it actually is pretty good, it is pretty stable. Um, I may add some more, but what I have done to the build is at certain intervals on the base I've put extra long bolts through and we'll call these legs or feet I've made them up with washers and uh, put a nut on uh, washers and a few spacers and, and just left enough thread on the end for the small white rubber grommets or opaque rubber grommets and this helped to raise it slightly which allows the wires to come out there without being crushed it also gives a bit more strength to the base. There's one. Uh, there's some all the way around. And this helps you to, um, shall we say, prop up the flexible plates and stop abusing them so much. Um, a few more strips underneath would have probably been a bit better. Or across, uh, much like the uh, construction 
is all the way around, but a couple more in, in board would have been a, perhaps a, a better idea. But I don't want to really be negative at all about this uh, set because there's nothing about it that's negative, really. They're just little things that I would prefer if in a perfect world sort of situation, if you like. Um, and and the well, the worst thing is is the the wiring for the lighting. Um, but as I said, I may remove the uh, four bolts that hold the uh, main structure to the base. And there's two, one there, one there, and uh, thread as many as I can through the middle. It doesn't show you there in the instructions. Um, Build time, we're looking at around, as usual, taking notes, although there isn't a vast amount of notes for this one. There are five sides of A4, but there's a lot of um, scrawl and crossings out and, and things, as I've uh, realised I've done something wrong in the build myself. So, as usual, including note taking, I've made errors myself where I haven't read the instructions properly. The instructions are fine, they are clear. Um, except for the wiring of the lights leaves a little bit of guesswork the actual build itself is fine there's no problems there at all there is odd um, ways that the numbers follow in the fact that like, you'll do uh, as you can imagine there's several repeat things but not everything is a repeat for example these uh, corners for example they're handed so don't fall into the trap of saying, oh, it's four of them, it's not, it's two. Um, little things like that. So all I'll say is basically just take your time. And there is something that I will mention that I did think was an error, and it's not. I forget exactly where it was now, but it was certainly um, uh, the, in the corners somewhere. And it was either these or these. And basically you got the right angle in board. On every one except for two there are four bolts in two sides of the uh, corner so let's say uh, I'll show you it on here although it's not the case at the bottom it's not there where the thing is uh, a little different but as it's easy to show you here so you imagine up here you've got um, two bolts there two bolts there well if you come down here it's probably a bit easier to see in board this is inside on the inside of the corner there would be, on most of these, there are two bolts there, one, two, and two bolts there. Up there like that. Except for two, where it just shows um, one nut and bolt on each side of the corner. And I looked at this and I thought, well, without going through and counting all the nuts and bolts to see if it's an error and there's so many left over, and bear in mind you do get some spares, you don't get an awful lot of spares in this set. Um, you use just about every nut and bolt, but there are a few other parts left over. It shows in the instructions then that there's only on two of the corners. There's only one bolt each side of each corner uh, post, shall we say? And I thought this was an error because every other one uh, in the build, every one has got two in opposing sides of the corner. So. I thought, right, well I'm going to put them in anyway, which I did. But when I got to the end, it looks like I've lost a nut and bolt anyway, which is um, pretty easy the way it's been carted about this set. Uh, I was uh, two, uh, yes, I was one bolt short because I'd used two inside. Um, I'd lost one, so I added that um, myself when I got home, and. Uh, it's nothing, um, there's, there's no mistake, that's how it is. It looks like a mistake, but it's not. So, okay, if you've got spare nuts and bolts, by all means, put them in, inside. If not, don't. <laughs> um, but the set is uh, it's a fantastic set. We'll do a set review in the future, but uh, it's got a well-matched box and a decent box for its uh, parts inside. The bags in some cases are double bagged. The bags are plenty big enough with no excess, no bags and bags of excess plastic. The box is quite full. The instruction book is a handy size. And whilst we've got the instruction book we're going to have a look at some parts. Now we, here we have the uh, parts list which I know it's awkward to see there. Uh, you get the newer tools of course. Um, 
still not overly keen on the uh, the driver. Um, it's okay, but I think it is really it's because uh, being an adult, my hands bigger, and it's uh, not so comfortable. I don't suppose a kid would find any issues with it. Um, parts wise, then, well, let's go through some of the main parts. First up, then, flexible plates. The uh, longer ones, the five and a half inch, like these here. And there, there. The five and a half inch by one and a half inch, the eleven hole by three hole. You get eighteen of those, eighteen. And I haven't done a, a cross reference with um, individual parts. I'll leave that for the uh, video where we do a bit of a review on the actual set itself. But there's eighteen of those. The uh, square plates at the top, each side there. There's only two of those. But uh, the uh, seven hole by five hole, the three and a half inch by um, two and a half inch, we've got 12 of those. There's eight of the smaller flexible plates. Um, hard to show you these, but there's one just underneath there. There's one at the top there. The two and a half inch by one and a half inch, which is uh, five hole by three, we've got eight of those. What else have we got? We've got 10 of these uh, clips for the wires. They work quite well. They fit in quite nicely, except I haven't put that one in properly. Um, four seven and a half inch strips. Nice those are. Nice and thick. Good, good uh, zinc, as I said. As is much of the zinc. Well, all the zinc really is very, very good. Um, 36 five and a half inch strips. That's these here. Again, good, uh, well made. Nice stamps as well on the parts. Nice clear stamps and the flexible uh, plates haven't got any stamps which they probably did ooh, in the 50s. I don't think they did it after that. Um, certainly some of the yellow flexible plates I've got from the 60s, 70s, they haven't got stampings on but um, they are thin uh, and the stamping is invariably a bit thin anyway. But I like to see the name as I said before and we've got very good stampings of the Meccano name and the parts and wherever possible. I've tried to build it so that uh, stamping is on show. It may not be the right way round, it may be upside down, but uh, um, I try and uh, have that on show. Um, you may have to do some adjustment in the build, as generally you do. The layering of parts does throw things out very slightly, but of course when you've got the slotted holes in the flexible plates, that ain't a problem. But just take your time. Uh, again, if you've got the washers, I'd say use them. Uh, what else have we got? We've got six uh, seven hole strips hiding somewhere. Good question where they are. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Um, six five hole strips and that's uh, one there. Uh, well, there's uh, plenty of other parts but not in the same sort of numbers. Um, two of the smalls Parts. I've got them hiding here somewhere. No, no. When I built the, uh, I've only put a photograph of it, but I'll just show you now. When I built this uh, bridge, loosely based on the Victoria Bridge on the Sun Valley Railway for the MeccanoZone.com uh, Christmas competition, build competition, and it won. Um, as you can see, I've got lots of these narrow half inch by one inch angle brackets forming the uh, railings. And I've used quite well almost all of the ones I had. I've got a few left. Um, now, you do get some of those. I'm going to put it down. It's, it's pretty heavy. I'll be talking about that. I do have some of those uh, left. Uh, you do get more of those in sets, but I've, I've bought them for, um, in the main, I think it was my Land Rover 101 build. There was a lot of those used. Um, but, in this set, you get 40 of those. And now I'm guessing the price of them, I think they, a proper angle bracket, bracket, a normal one. Let's try and show you this without dropping it. <laughs> Where are we? There we are. One of those, that's a normal angle bracket. I think they go for about uh, 12p. I'm not sure. I, I will do a bit of a cross reference on prices and what you get with, compared with the dealer prices and that of uh, new or newish parts. But um, 
those narrow ones must be the same or maybe even 20 pence each and uh, I'm guessing that but you got 40 of those what I like to do I like to go through the sets and look in the instructions and see like well if I needed a specific part and I was lucky enough to find that part in a set that I could get on the high street because I'm a bit desperate for a part so uh, I need one in in short notice I'll look to see which set provides me with the most of those parts for the, the least money so for example if I could buy a set, I need a set and I wanted some of those normal angle brackets and uh, I look through a set and find that a small set has got half a dozen in for 10 quid but uh, the next set has only got four in uh, for 20 quid well it's obvious which is the better buy um, of course it does mean that you generally get a lot of parts that you don't particularly want but everything comes in use in time Talking of the angle brackets, them uh, standard ones there, 88 of them in the set, 88, 88 amazing, and although we haven't got many, there do seem to be a rarity in sets these days, and that's fish plates, standard fish plates, that's basically a flat angle bracket. Uh, there's two, <laughs> only two, so not a very good buy for those, but if you can't get them, the flexible plates are metal, not plastic, which is a good thing, because the plastic ones are never very good once you get a bit old, they tend to snap quite easily, of course they would have been cheaper to produce then, so good on your Meccano for sticking with the metal as well as doing newer things like the mechanoids, great stuff. Now I'm looking through my notes here, and I have actually made some notes of prices. The set uh, says here, so it comes with uh, plenty of flexible plates, which I mentioned. We've got 337 standard bolts, 339 nuts, the 88 angle brackets, and the 40 half inch by one inch narrow angle brackets, which I mentioned just. Uh, 36 five and a half inch strips, four seven and a half inch strips. Now, I haven't added all those up, but as usual, just going on the uh, nuts and the standard bolts alone comes to at a dealer, £43.85. That's just over half really. Uh, I think most of these uh, I've seen are £80. You might pay a little bit more. There are some places where you'll pay a lot more, uh, sort of 20 quid more on a, an £80 set. So as usual folks, shop around. But nearly 45 quid just on standard bolts and nuts alone. And you get all the rest with it as well, and the lights. It is an absolute bargain. A bargain buy, quality set. The box is ample. There's no extra unnecessary or unnecessarily large bags. Good instructions, a good build. No mistakes, as far as I found. Of course, I did put some mistakes in, mistakes in on the way, as usual. But uh, that's rushing, really. One of the things I did find weird about the build was that you build it from the top down to the bottom. When I've built the uh, the tower crane, which is still isn't finished, the tower was built from the bottom up. Generally it makes sense I suppose because the bottom is generally wider and uh, it's a stable way of building up. Um, same with the small L Eiffel tower set, you build from the bottom up uh, and the, although I haven't finished it because I've got to put a bit of a silly clock in it really, uh, or clock, I won't say clock mechanism but um, whirly fingers, in the Big Ben um, Elizabeth Tower uh, Big Ben set which I oh, started oh, way back into last year I think, maybe even before then, it's been lying around for a while waiting to get on with the actual little mechanism for the uh, fingers on the clock. Um, you build that from the bottom up and um, and it's only about half the size of this and uh, a quite a monotonous build because all four sides are the same um, till you get up to the clock phase. Anyway, oh, I won't go on too much about that one but uh, it just felt a little bit unusual but you can see why because it's narrow at the top and it widens out as you come down so you can get your hands in so it actually makes sense, it just didn't feel like that. So there we go folks the Meccano Maker System Empire State Building Set, the latest version utilising, in the main, flexible plates for the construction. I will tweak it a little bit more with a few more feet, I think, underneath the uh, 
the base and as I said I'll probably take it apart and try and feed the wires through the middle as best as possible. So there you are folks, a very good set in my opinion for what that's worth the best set going on parts and uh, that doesn't have to be a traditional thing either because the parts are interchangeable as we all know which is a good thing. Uh, I don't think I've mentioned the build time though um, I've got it written down here you want it to be exact, it's 8 hours 18 minutes. Um, of course, there's the note taken, which isn't a lot. Um, let's say, uh, I don't know, 7.5 hours. But it was such an enjoyable build, there wasn't too much to think about, except where I made a few mistakes myself. It did not feel like a 7.5 hour build, it felt, felt like about half that. So, a nice set. Well, let's understate it. A great set. A great set all round. Bye for now, folks.